here's a particularly interesting version. Go get yourself exposed to some totally rotting, smelly carcass or inadvertently take a bite into some truly rotten food and you will have an area of the brain activate called the insular cortex. And what that does, and every species looked at, is it processes foul, disgusting stimuli. Disgusting, spoiled food, a rotten smell, all of that. That's what the insular cortex does. And you know, no doubt there's tongue receptors telling you bacterial loads or acidity of this rotten food or some such thing. And that's what this part of the brain does. Now, sit down a person and tell them a story of somebody being totally, totally mistreated by somebody powerful in some completely exploitative, horrible circumstance, and the insular cortex will activate. Have somebody play some game with somebody else, one of the prisoner's dilemma type games, where the person totally stabs him in the back, the person they're playing against, and gets away with it and makes some really exploitative, rotten gesture, and the insular cortex activates. Sit somebody down and say in the control group, tell me about some event that happened when you were growing up versus the experimental group, tell me about a time when you were growing up that you did something really awful to somebody else. And the person describes that circumstance and the insular cortex activates. What does this part of the brain do? It's saying, oh yes, this food is full of maggots and does not taste very well, but it also does moral disgust. When you are feeling disgusted with how someone has been treated, when how you've been treated, it activates. When you are having moral self-disgust, recounting something awful you did to somebody, this part of the brain activates. My God, don't they realize up there this is a metaphor? You're not really eating rotten food. And every language on earth has words referring to moral failures with words denoting gustatory repellent stimuli. I am disgusted by what you did. The fact that they did this, when I hear about what they did, it makes me nauseous. Something about this smells rotten. Every culture has terms that intermixes literal sensory disgust with moral disgust. And what that's telling you is that when humans came up with something as fancy as moral transgressions, where are you going to stick the sense of outrage you feel when there is a moral transgression? I know, let's hijack the part of the brain that tells you you're eating some rotten food shoehorning into there.